Hey everyone, my name is Johnson. I'm a wellness coach with Savvy Health Solutions. And today's video is gonna focus on doing dynamic stretches uh, before a run. Um, it's important to do stretches before a run because it prevents any injuries, um, gets the muscle warmed up and loosened, and also can um, help um, your performance in running as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through eight exercises or eight dynamic stretches that we can do um, for your warm up. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first dynamic stretch that we're gonna do is gonna stretch out the hamstrings and the calf as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have our legs straight out. All right, toes pointed up, and then we're just gonna reach with the opposite arm, and then we're just gonna switch to the other side. All right, so we're, about, we're gonna do about 20, or uh, 20 altogether, so 10 each leg. All right, so we're gonna start it in three, two, one, start. So just tapping that toe, coming up, feeling a nice stretch in the back of your legs. Keep your back straight, just hinge at the hip. All right. important to stretch out the calf muscles as well um, just because we don't want to injure the Achilles tendon. And good, go ahead and relax. All right, so for the second dynamic stretch, we have our knee pull. So just having our hands together and just pulling the knee up to our chest, hold for about two seconds and then bring it back down and then switch, all right? So we'll do about 10 each leg again. Same thing as the hamstring and calf stretch, but really pull that up to your chest and feel that nice stretch in the glute area. All right. Yeah. Pull it up nice and tight. You want a good stretch. Just really open up, really activate the muscles in the, in the glutes. Good. Few more. Stand up nice and tall, back straight. You don't want to be hunched over. Good. One more each leg. All right. Good. And relax. All right. So for the third one we have is just going to be a glute stretch. So also stretching out the piriformis, so deep inner um, external rotators. So what we're gonna do is just have our legs bent and just pulling up at the ankle, just like that. Back and forth, hold for about a second or two. Really get a stretch right here, the nice in the glute, really deep in there as well. Good. Really open up to those hips as well, too. Uh -huh. Just a few more, each leg. Good. All right, good. And last one, relax, good. All right. All right, for the fourth dynamic stretch we have is a simple lunge and reach. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lunge forward. All right, so whichever leg's in the front, you're gonna raise the opposite arm, and you're gonna lean to the same side um, to which the leg's in the front. All right, come back, take a lunge, opposite arm, and then lean. All right, really open up the sides as well. You activate your core muscles. All right, and also, also activate all the muscles in your legs as well too. Good. Take that forward, up his arm, just lean over. Alright. Reach up and lean. Good. Lean. Lunge and lean. Make sure you're keeping that front knee. So this front knee right here. In front of your toes. Alright, you don't want that front knee to go past it, alright? All right, just a couple more on each side. Reach. Reach. Good, and relax, all right? 
All right, moving on to the to the next one. One of my one of my personal favorites. It's uh, hurdles. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna bring that knee up, so that leg up. So you want your quad to be parallel to the floor. All right, so you're gonna lift it up, bring it out, step down, coming up the same way, and bring it back to the front. All right. You want you want to remember the the which if whatever foot is planted. You want to keep that front foot always facing forward. All right, so going up, rotate out, step down, coming up, and then rotate. Really, really don't open up those hips. Uh, it's very, it's really open up those hips for you to run, all right? Good. We'll do about 10 each leg. Step down, coming out. Imagine like you're stepping over a hurdle. Down, coming up. Up, rotate down, and rotate. All right. All right, we're just gonna do a few more. Good. Up, over, down, bring it back up, and bring it to the front. And good. All right, now let's go ahead and let's do the other side. Lift up, so front of the quads parallel to the floor. Back out. Do 10 of them. Tap, coming up, front, two, three. Make sure to keep that planted foot pointing straight forward. Four, good. Five, five more. Down, up, six. Really open up those hips. Seven, three more. Good. Eight. Last two. And last one here. Tap coming up to the front. All right, here. It's pretty simple. All right, you're just gonna let your legs, all right, just swing it forward, back and forth. Just like that. Try to reach back further every time. Kick up higher every time as well. All right, we'll do it for 30 seconds. Good. Keep the balance all the time. If you want to hold on to like a pole or something or the wall to help you the balance, that's fine too. All right, just loosen up the legs a little bit. Activate the glutes. Activate all the muscles of the leg, quads, the hamstrings as well. Good. A few more seconds. All right, good. Let's check it out. Let's do the other leg. Good. Keep your balance. Stand up nice and tall. Good. Try to reach up higher every single time. Good. A few more seconds. Good and relax. Good. All right. These next two are gonna we're gonna do is gonna just gradually build our heart rate up. All right. So let's do butt kickers. All right. Try to get the heel to touch your butt. All right, hence the word butt kickers, or hence the name butt kickers. All right, just really focusing on the quads right here. All right, so give it a little bounce. Try to touch your heel to your butt every time. Do this for about 30 seconds, all right? Good, nice for that nice stretch. Like I said, gradually increasing the heart rate so you get ready for your run. Good, legs are getting warmed up. Good, a few more seconds. All right, good. All right, this last dynamic stretch we have are just, all right, high knees. All right, really try to get your knees up. We're just, like I said, get, get our heart rate up. So we'll get the arms involved too. All right, so 30 seconds. All right, keep your back straight, chest out. Break those knees up every single time. Get it. Good. All right, so those are the eight dynamic stretches that I have for you guys. Um, have a good run. Uh, stretching afterwards is also very, very important. So we do have some static stretching that you can see uh, either with Liz or with Chris. Um, we also have some phone rolling that you guys can view too with Sophia as well. So check this out. Those will be some good uh, uh, static stretching or 
uh, foam rolling just to help prevent any soreness the next day or any cramps the next day as well. So have a good one. Um, see you guys next time.